Okay. All right. So over the Christmas holiday, um, I understand the frustration everybody was having with Akai products and software. Uh, I bought three MPK minis right here for a couple of my sons and my nephew. And we experienced the same frustration. You get this software download card that tells you to go ahead and get your stuff done. And then you find out that you can't download any software. But we're past that point now. And now the frustration is people can't get the plugins to work because this software is going to come with once you get the NPC Central software after you register your device. You got to register your device first and create an account in uh, Akai Pro. And we've registered my son's MPK Mini MK2. Uh, you got to register that with the serial number, which comes on the back of the book that that comes with the hardware. And it's also a sticker on the back underneath of your hardware itself with that serial number on it. So first thing you got to do is register at a COD Pro, register your device, and um, that will allow you to start downloading all the software and the plugins that come with it and also to make sure that it's warranty. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down. You want to get that done, and then you want to scroll down, and I'm going to tilt this down a little bit so our serial numbers and stuff aren't just hanging out there. And the first thing you want to do is download that MPC Central software. You want to get that first, and you want to install it onto your PC or your Mac. And it's going to have both versions, PC and Mac version. So you download the version that is compatible with your system. Then from there, you got a couple of other kits you can download, but the most important ones are the two uh, plugins that come with the software. Let me see that box over there, man. And those are, you got your Hybrid 3 and your Wobble, which are two really, really, really good uh, plugins that come with MPC, and they are VST plugins, so they're going to work with other software and DAWs as well. So I'm going to scroll down some more on the Akai website and first one we got is the hybrid air you want to download that it's a 3.0.4 and it's going to have an authorization code and that authorization code is going to be pretty long and I'll show you some of mine um, that authorization code you're going to want to copy and paste it once you get the uh, plug in download it and I'm going to show you how you actually do that because it's not as simple as you would think All right, and the other one is the wobble you want to download the wobble and you want to install that one so those are the two really nice plugins that Akai was nice enough to include with the software so let's drop out of here remember you want to copy and paste each one so I've installed uh, the hybrid and the wobble. So what was happening, and this is happening for a lot of people because I just Googled it and a bunch of people are upset they can't get the things to work. What you got to do, you got to go up here, edit, and on, I'm on Windows. Windows normally defaults all of your plugins to uh, your C drive, programs, Steinberg, VST, plugins so that's usually the default folder so what I'm going to show you how to do you want to go up to edit hit preferences hit plugins and right here you see I've got C C drive program files Steinberg VST plugins and the way you point to that is right there you just click that little button right there and then you navigate to the, that folder all right, now I've already done it. You go to C drive, blah, blah, blah. Um, you should understand how to do that. All right, and then you pull that up, and you scan new first, and then everything's going to come in. Now, I also have under that same routing, C drive, program files, VST plugins. Now, you got a Steinberg slash VST, and then you just got a straight VST plugins folder. 
you're going to have to go into both of those because you may have some more plugins on your system you don't know about. But for whatever reason, when I loaded these two plugins up, one of them went under the Steinberg VST plugins and the other one went to the VST plugins. I don't know why and I can't explain it, but that's what happened. So now what I did, I scanned new, so all of my plugins came in. And you would normally see them under here, but I took a backtrack. So now what I'm going to do is individually pick each folder, and I'm going to rescan all. And you're going to see what's going to happen. When I scan new, neither of those plugins will come up. But when I individually go to each folder and rescan, boom, this pops up. Now, Hybrid 3 pops up first. You want to hit activate. Like I said, you should have copied and pasted, copied that uh, that uh, activation code, and you're just going to paste it right in there. And you get a bunch of little check marks when you got it in. I ain't going to show you all my stuff. Boom. And you hit next. And you're going to register it under your email. And then it's going to ask you if you want to save it. And you, I'm going to tell you what just happened in a second. But it's going to ask you if you want to save it as uh, on your computer or to your iLock. If you have an iLock account like I do because I use Pro Tools and um, I buy other plugins with licenses, you can save it to your iLock. If not, then these two plugins will allow you to save them straight to your computer, but you'll only be able to use them on this computer. Um, what you just saw happen is that the plugin dropped out in the middle of the activation. For some reason, you got to type this stuff in really quick to get it to go. And you'll see that it failed. But um, I figured that out because I got the, uh, the wobble to work. So I'm going to have to speed up a little bit to get the hybrid in there. I did get the wobble to work, but it took me a couple of times of figuring out I need to type real fast to get my email in and everything. And I got it to work. But I saved it to this computer. I have an iLock. My son doesn't. So I just say this is his stuff. I just save it to the computer. But, I mean, you got to type fast. You got to copy and paste the serial number because it will take you too long to type it. And it's harder to do it that way anyway. And then you want to put in your email. Click next, I believe it is. So let's do a rescan all. Once again, I'm scanning the Steinberg plugins. And the hybrid is in that folder. So it's going to tell me that I have a plugin that is not activated. It's going to pull it up. I'm going to hit activate. I'm going to copy and paste activation code. Check marks come up. Hit next. Type in your email. Boom, 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 boom. And then you would hit continue. And everything should work fine after that. Now you do the exact opposite for the wobble. Go to the VST plugins and rescan all. And that's if they divide these up like it did on my system. They should have gone to the same folder, I think. Um, most of my other plugins do. You can see I got a bunch of stuff. I got Waze too, but I got to pump put my license back in for that. So I just skipped it. And you got all this other stuff. But as you can see, I had, what was it, the wobble? Shows up there. So I was successful at getting that one to work and I actually already selected it here. It looks like that and got it wired up and it's working. So as long as you can type fast, you can actually get this to work. I hope this video helps.